Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we're going to be working on the cover because I finished this journal up. And, you know, this is the one that I've been videotaping recently. And I'll hurry up, flip through some pages. And I think the only one y'all really haven't seen is uh, the back one. But I usually try to um, decorate the fronts of my journals. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I don't know if some of you could recall when I made like this um, junk journal. Uh, I had done the like a medieval door inside the journal. And it, I made it look all leathery. So, and here's the only one you, you guys haven't seen. This was out of one of the Tim Holtz books. And, um... You know, I found these, like, on the internet and printed them off. So, we're going to get started. And how I like to do this is I'm going to go ahead and put on a coat of white. And I'm using this because I've had it for so long and I'm afraid it's going to dry up if I don't. And... If it's not already dried up. No, it's not. And you're probably saying if you're doing medieval, why are you putting on white? Um, I kind of want to um, put on a coat of white in case. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of pink because I don't want it to be so bright white, but, uh, you know how people do their kitchen cabinets and then they put on an outer layer and then they'll scrape some off to make it look worn. Well, I want the undercoat to be white-ish. And I'll probably... You know, don't have to put it all over it, but I guess we will. And I just thought about it. I don't really know. I didn't have a plan for how I was going to do the strap. I got to figure that out. Not less, I guess I may have to... Either eliminate the strap, which I guess we, I usually paint the strap, but I'm debating now to paint it or just to take it off, and I may just take it off. And plus, uh, by putting on this white, it will, um, you know, give it a tooth. Or whatever layers that I'm going to be putting on. I can't even tell you how long I've had those little artesia paints there. Okay, and there went my little brush flying all the way across my table. I guess it got too wet. Okay, so I guess we're done with this. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and remove the straps. And what I did, pulled it up as far as I could and cut it with scissors. But now, as you can see, it's left a little bit, which uh, I'm going to take these fingernail clippers 
and try to get off the rest of that. Which I don't think that's working either. I think I can pull on it a little more. And it seemed to have come out. Okay, there it went back in okay so uh, I want to these uh, thin lids that uh, Sherry had sent me I had an idea that really I won't need to put these on the back but you know, they got a little bit of raise to them, but I need to kind of build it up. So, go ahead and put some glue down and spread that. And then, let's see, how do I want to do this? And uh, I, I won't be doing the back with the design. wonder how even I can get this and I'm gonna put the brown on the bottom just because um, you know it has a shiny to it as opposed to the white ones my glue drop already and I really can't see the top up there too good but I think we'll be okay and Put another brown down over it and see that's wanting to come up. I guess this is the tricky part trying to line it up. Guess you may have to put overly amount of glue. I know it's a smidgen off up there, but Okay, so we'll, I don't have any more brown ones, so I'll just use the white, which that's okay. And let's 
See, the more I handle it, I get glue all over my hands and it wants to pull it up. It kind of looks cool with it kind of offset, even though you're not going to see that because I'm going to paint over top of it. needs a little more glue. I guess we'll go ahead and put the next layer on. You can see how the uh, glue is even retracting off of the because it's so shiny. So, and I didn't want that to you know be on the very top because it might mess the effect up. I guess you need to take your fingers or something and push it down really good. Make sure you don't have any air pockets. But I don't know if the glue won't wrinkle it up anyway. Well, and it just dawned on me I'm going to be painting over top of glue which this is mod podge i just uh no i believe this excuse me I, uh this is not mod podge this is elmer's glue but i just keep filling my bottle up because i buy the glue by the gallon containers And I think even rubbing on it, I can feel that it should be deep enough. I, I just want to reveal a little bit. I don't need it stacked so high that it doesn't look right. I kind of got to be careful that, uh, you know, with my glue, if it's not laying down right, it's going to show in the reveal too. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. Okay, so I dried this with my heat gun, and I think we're going to mix three paints together, and you know, this is the Liquitex in the tube, which is going to be, um, you know, thicker, so this is quinacridone magenta. And we're just going to keep working with it. And this here is Burnt Sienna. And uh, I may not need it, but a smidgen of black. And... 
go ahead and put it on even though it's not mixed up good but we're going to see and if it you know if it doesn't do well we got another coat to put on I think I'm already liking it you know and you gotta um, kind of keep I don't see you see I how how I don't really thoroughly have it mixed and that's just part of the character you know I kind of want it to look like it's been used and if I had just mixed it up and made it one color you see I think it's already turning out great that it's it's all right see how the white undertones make it look uh had that worn look but we're still debating on how to quite do that and even another thing i even thought about doing is uh making my cell phone into a uh, case into a journal a little leather looking journal okay i think I can't leave that white, even though it's giving it that effect, I need to I can't leave it white to begin with, even though we may be taking some some back off, but. And you know, I had a, a while back bought some medieval looking stickers from um, Dollar Tree. And that's kind of what prompted me to do this. Uh, I thought I've bought them and not even used them to this day, but you know, they're just cool. You know how we all are. We buy stuff that's cool looking and, and and bring it home and don't even know what to do with it. But we just bought it because it was cool. And I'm kind of uh, one of those people that when something looks cute, I'm the same way. Uh, You know, I got to have it because it looks cute. Okay, I think I'm going to have to stop and dry this.
yeah, let's just take the heat gun to this and then we'll put on another layer. Okay, so I'm grabbing this raw sienna and using it up. And I always try to cut the tops off. This one here, it's, you can tell we're not mixing this with anything, but thus far, it's, it's beginning to look like a old book. I mean, that's the way I want it to look, like, like I've had it for years. And actually, I was watching a man do a video uh, last night. He uh, makes medieval books. And I guess that's his full-time craft. Because um, you could tell he had all the things to make the book. All the presses. Uh, he had all these devices like... Uh, to, to lock the book down and well he stitched it too so I'll add a little bit of this cronacridone again I guess it's a little resistant there where maybe the glue Now that I had the strap off, I've got to, um, well, I've, I've got some ideas in my head, but we'll go through the uh, little embellishments here in a minute. just about all of that one and I think we'll put some more put all three of these again I'm leaving off the black, which that's not the color I'm going for. I guess I need to go ahead and put a hint of that black in it again. I'm already loving the, the variations. A little darker but we'll see it may help things bring out the I about don't have enough paint over here to
sort of my back cover looks like it's getting the raw end of the deal Wow, guys, I'm really digging it. It's got that leathery look and feel and look, but we're not finished. Guess I'll have to let that dry like that. Okay. Need to go around the edges. I can't even see up here. Okay, so let me set this aside and we'll go over you know, I have these, but you know, they're too flat, but I had these and I had bought a whole bunch of these things and, you know, here's a buckle that we may uh, use. But, you know, it's sticky, so I can't just tear that one off. But we'll set that aside. I think we need maybe one of these to go in the middle. And these, I'm not sure about. Uh, because of the color and they're plasticky and I think we'll leave those out because I don't think the paint's going to adhere to them. I have these and these. And here's some others that I bought. All of these from Dollar Tree. There's another buckle, but kind of like these, you know, and there was these that they had. Okay, so we may have to make a buckle or I have a plan B. Okay, so let me dry the journal off, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, got a little bit of this gold, and we're going to see how that does. I hope it's the winner winner that I need. And if not, then, you know, we'll put some more on till we get where we need to be. And I do have some kind of like rub-ons that I did use last time.
but I want to see how this done first. I think I want the edge to look a little bit more gilded looking. Probably down the road I'll shoot myself for not ever doing the back. Here I am running out of paint again. Which now I'm getting away from my color. getting away from my collar back here. Now I've really got to start blending that in before it looks like I just took a brush to it. See, that's when you gotta learn, leave well enough alone. Come on, paint, don't fail me now. Okay. I think I need to pick up another brush. Probably the fact that this here isn't dry yet either. Okay, the front's looking right. The back is not. Let me get one of my other... Okay, I'm gonna pull out my bronze here. And I may have to smudge it with my finger if it don't do right, but.
Okay, it's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing because I got my camera right over top of the book. Okay, so we'll let this dry a little bit. Okay, so I've got this sandpaper here. I'm kind of nervous to even use it. And that'll be okay if it takes up a little paint here and there. Oh, that's what and I know it's a bit white because see we use that bright white but if we have to I can put something you know paint over it again and kind of knock it back down Not the scratches I was going for. Guess we need to leave it to like the edges. I think I'll just take the brush that already has the paint on it and not the real white bright or mistakes back down. Kinda like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like that too. I'd knock that all the way back down to underneath the, the books. past the white down to the book but that's okay because it that's one of those happy accidents okay Do something with this. We don't want the white looking too white. Because then it don't look like it's aged. look kind of reminds me of my dad's Bible he used to carry and I still have it so we need to knock that back a little bit so it won't look like I just tore the book I don't like this scratch that I put on it, so I'm going to try to cover it up, so sort of knock that back. Okay. 
Here I am again picking up some more paint over here. You see guys, this is a lot of layers. I was going through the little medallions that I was going to put on it. Okay, I'm wondering if that looks, that's where I want that to be. Okay, I'm I go, need to go ahead and put the little medallions on it because I may have to use this paint to knock those back. I don't want them looking real uh, shiny either like I just purchased them. But here was my choices. And I want to put something here in the middle. And I had thought about this one, but you see how that goes over top of those. So those are not going to work, but I think... And that one, that one, that one, they overdo on that also, but, um, okay, and then I got this one, which I think that's going to be the winner. I'm about nervous because once this goes down, it's not coming up. Okay, and then I had these four little corners. I had a, a old belt buckle I think my husband gave me, but it, it's not quite going to look right. So, uh, I've came up with a plan B, which I'll just, all right now, come up with a plan B. I may stick one of these on and then cut it off and make it look as if a um, a buckle is round in the corner. Okay, here was the two choices, which, hey, I think I like those right there. I think that would be pretty cool, too. So, let's add those. I need to put the top down first, but I don't want that going over on that. I think we'll leave off, you know, the buckle idea. I was going to do that. Here's going to be the real trick, trying to get this 
to match the other side. So. So it's across from. And the bottoms like that. That close. some of the paper sticking out. I kind of like the way they look, but I don't want them to look so plasticky. Let's see what's on this brush. I do want the Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and paint over them. And then we'll go back with some of that rub. Because I need to get rid of the white plasticky looking uh, edges. You guys can probably see more of it than I can. I hope I haven't missed anywhere. Okay, so uh, I had this uh, Liquitex Basic Acrylics. And I got these as a set, come with, you know, silver, gold, uh, a black, and they're iridescent. And it was a whole little set of them. I have white, iridescent, silver, gold, and you guys just see me use the bronze. So, um... Uh, I guess we'll take a little bit of gold and see how that works and then we may if that don't work quite we'll put on some silver I like that, that I had to push it down in there, kind of look. Got a little much there. And do these two down here at the bottom. I think I'll take some of this and go up that spine too.
I think I like this better than I did the gold paint. Okay, here we go again with that. than what I wanted. Get the other brush. take a little bit of this silver I'm not sure if I don't want to use the white I think it's trying to come up uh, the white or the silver we'll just have to try it I'm trying to not get too much on my hand I just want to graze the high parts and this is the white kinds of gives it a little bit of that adds to that uh, kind of worn makes it kind of look old and worn i'm rubbing it between my fingers so maybe i won't get too much I think I might want a little more, uh, let's see, did I have bronze? I got, oh, copper and, and bronze. Okay, I think I want to take a little bit of this copper. Hope this isn't glaring too much, guys. Try to take the thing off. Do I leave that up? Do I put it back down? Um, got sidetracked. Forgot where I was. A little bit up here. Just adds to it and it is supposed to be medieval on top of here goes my thing I'm gonna have to glue it gonna have to glue it and I think I'm gonna 
use some crazy glue because it's so okay crazy glue okay now I am going to have to be careful that I don't crazy glue it to my finger Okay, was we finished up there? Let's see. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna open my blinds a little more so you all can see better. And turn this light off and see if it makes it any better. That's just from the light in my room. Let's see if I can turn the light down a little bit. Okay. I think for the most part that's done. Here's this one coming up. I think I'm going to let the book dry some. Still may need to go back and, and crazy glue that down. But for the most part, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did and had this on my mind for a week want, wanting to do this. And uh, I hope you all think it looks leathery and medieval-like. But it's a journal I think I'm going to be proud of. Thank you all for watching. And hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you could, give me a thumbs up. And always, see you tomorrow.